Guten Tag alle, heute werden wir ein bisschen mehr über Konjunktiv 2 sprechen, besonders uh, mit Modalverben und wie es benutzt wird. So, today we are going to talk about subjunctive mood with modal verbs uh, used in the perfect tense. And uh, if you've been watching our videos, you know we've been learning how to create the subjunctive mood in the perfect tense. And you know it centers around hätte und wäre. So, um, when we want to use the subjunctive mood with modal verbs, there's an interesting change that happens. Um, instead of having, like in this example, the subjunctive form of the helping, helping verb and then the past participle of the secondary verb, um, when we use with a modal verb like können, müssen, wollen, sollen, dürfen, or mögen, then we're going to have something take place that we call the double infinitive. So we are going to have the subjunctive form of the helping verb again, plus the infinitive form of the secondary verb, and then the infinitive form of the modal verb will be at the end. So ich hätte das sagen können means I would have been able to say that. There's one thing you want to watch out here for. When used like this with modal verbs, the helping verb in the subjunctive will always be hätte, even if the verb is a verb that would otherwise use wäre as the helping verb. And remember, we talked about this in another video, how certain verbs, if it's a verb that indicates a clear motion to a new location, or if it's a verb that indicates a change in state, or if it's uh, sein, or even werden, or bleiben, they take wäre as the helping verb. But when we form sentences using uh, a modal verb in this subjunctive mood, that helping verb will always be hätte. So the wäre basically goes away. So instead of saying, for example, ich wäre gegangen, ich hätte gehen können, even though you're still using gehen, you're using hätte as the helping verb. So let's review the meanings of the modal verbs themselves for a minute. Müssen, have to, sollen, supposed to or should, wollen, want to, dürfen, allowed to, mögen, like to, and können, be able to. So here are just some examples of the same sentence being used with different modal verbs so you can see a little bit of the differences in how they, their meanings, what meanings they impart to the sentences. Ich hätte das machen können means I would have been able to do that. Ich hätte das machen wollen means I would have wanted to do that. Ich hätte das machen mögen means I would have liked to do that. Ich hätte das machen dürfen means I would have been allowed to do that. Ich hätte das machen sollen means I should have done that. Und ich hätte das machen müssen means I would have had to do that. So you can see how each one of these modal verbs is going to affect the meaning that you're trying to impart. Okay, so now we're going to try some exercises or the Übungen going from German to English using um, modal verbs in the subjunctive uh, mood. So, for example, Nummer 1, Ich hätte kommen können, wenn du mich gefragt hättest, means in English, I would have been able to come if you would have asked me. Er hätte gehen wollen, wenn wir ihn eingeladen hätten, means he would have wanted to go if, he would ha if we would have invited him. Sie hätte spielen dürfen, wenn sie ihre Arbeit getan hätte, means she would have been allowed to play if she would have fin uh, done or yeah if she would have done her work. And then Nummer vier, ich hätte einen Computer kaufen mögen, wenn ich das Geld gehabt hätte, which means I would have liked to buy a computer if I would have had the money. Du hättest das nicht machen sollen, means you should have not done that. Nummer 6, ich hätte das sagen dürfen, means I would have been allowed to say that. And wohin hättest du fahren wollen, means where would you have wanted to drive to. And remember, the subjunctive is used to express conjecture or something that's not quite certain. So you can see that here. Um, we will have a second video over this to go into a little bit more depth. Vielen Dank und auf Wiedersehen.